never gets old for you, of course. But I mean, that, but part of you has got to. Well, here we go. <laughs> Let's settle nah, in. Here we go nah, again. Nah, we, no, man, it's, a, it's an exciting time every single, every single year. Um, you know, whether it's year one, two, three, or seven, you know, I still have that hunger, that fire in my belly, the excitement of being back here, trying to climb the mountain again, starting from ground zero uh, with a new team. Obviously, a lot of uh, familiar faces, but it's always a new, new team, new year. You know, you got to build up and uh, start to create that chemistry, and competition is everything this time of year. Just getting going. You got a little, is a little alley on your That's chin? That's right, man. Sometimes, you know, the helmet's supposed to protect you. Sometimes it betrays you, you know. So I got, <laughs> you know, a little, little shoulder pad through the face mask or something, yeah. I feel you've been around forever, even though, <laughs> you know, you've, you've got a young career. I, you, you, you got some Don't these, age me. Don't age me. Bro. You got Come some on. of these young guys coming up to me? Oh, yeah. Fred, Fred what, what do I do? What, what, what's that terminology <laughs> mean? Well, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes <laughs> I got to remind myself that I'm not one of the younger guys anymore. Right. You know, uh, seven sounds, yeah, it's, it's getting up there. It's getting up there a little bit, but I still I still feel like a young guy. You know, I still feel like there's so much to prove, so much to uh, to continue to learn and grow. You know, I, I still have that, that, that young hunger. You're out there. You're barking signals. I mean, mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're making the calls. Mm -hmm. But then you look to your, le your left or your right. 57 isn't there. Mm -hmm. I feel like, you feel like that's... Hey, part of me is missing. Ah, yeah. Like a gut punch, yeah. man. Yeah, no, it's a little different, man. You know, obviously, 5'7", that's my dog forever. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, every single year I've been in there, he's been right there beside me. Uh, so it's been a little different not having him out there. But I'm so excited and, and fired up about who we have, uh, you know, going into the season uh, in our linebacker room. Anytime we step out there, we're the tone setters. We're the ones that's supposed to get it done in the back end. So, you know, I'm excited about it. I do want to ask you about a new... Hall of Fame linebacker and Patrick Willis. You know him. You've talked to him. When you, when you guys get together and talk, linebackeries or whatever. I mean, get, what, 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 what do you get from him? Uh, man, I'm just trying to rub shoulders as much as I can yeah. with some greatness. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hopefully, it rubs off on me. Uh, you know, just being able to to know Patrick um, and have him as somebody to talk to and to look to for how to how the position's supposed to be played. You know what I'm saying? And how it's supposed to look. He's obviously one of the best to ever do it, if not the best. And I'm so happy for him and his Hall of Fame induction. Just the fact that I have him, have him in my contacts, in my phone number list, to, to be able to text him or call him about anything and have his reassurance of that I'm doing things the right way, man, it means the world to me. Wow, you can just whip out your phone and... Do, 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 do. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then there he is. That's it. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. crazy. You've been so close so many times. An overtime loss in that Super Bowl, does it just does it just remain a part of you or, or have you been able to just flush it out and move on? Yeah, no, it always stays with you. You know, I don't feel like I need any more motivation mm -hmm. or or things to get, get myself going other than just my inner drive. But, you know, those type of things, they do stay with you, you know, and they give you that extra hunger and motivation to continue to keep going. My number one goal in this in this league is to is to win a championship, you know, do it for the this fan base, this organization, uh, bring us back to where we need to be. And I know, you know, as long as I'm just being the best version of myself, I'm going to continue to try and help us give us the best chance to do that. Do you have to go out with this imaginary 200-pound chip just to kind of get on your shoulder to get you going? <laughs> and if that's what it takes, Vern, you know, I, I carry that little imaginary 200-pound, 300-pound chip, you know what I'm saying, uh, whatever it takes. People think that you just get to snap your fingers and, and, you know, get right back to that moment being in a Super Bowl again the following year just because you were there the year before. And unfortunately, that's not how it works. You know, you got to climb the mountain again. Uh, we do have everything that we need in order to get back there. But you don't, you don't just get back there just because you're talented. You got to put the work in. Here's a battle that you're learning how to climb each and every day. You're a dad now. What's fatherhood been like? Yeah, man, it's been amazing. Uh, it's something that you can't really put into words. It's been the biggest blessing for me and my wife to welcome my baby boy into this world. And he's just brought so much joy and happiness to us. And it's just given me another another thing to play for, right? Is he lifting his head? Is he <laughs> flipping over? Is he... Is he, is he he's is already he giving close left, close right calls. You know what I'm saying? He over there. <laughs> and his, I'm, I'm, we're practicing the linebacker stand. We might practice a little hand in the dirt, have Nick Bosa come over and teach him a little pass rush. Um, you know, because he is starting to, to bulk up a little bit. Um, so, yeah, he's, he's doing great, man. Well, I got three knuckleheads. One of them's off camera. I, enjoy it now because, bam, Boom. they're going to be 20 years old. Man. And I, I, that's, a, that's a lot of gallons of milk. Just like now that. And then. Oh, yeah, it, <laughs> it happens quick, man. I mean, he's still drinking milk now, right? <laughs> a little Absolutely. bit of milk. Yeah, yeah, man, you know, you got to do what you got to do.